Hey guys, what is up? It's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel down below if you're not already and join the family. And also while you're down there, don't forget to hit that little notification bell because that will notify you every time I upload because sometimes YouTube doesn't put out my videos in your subscription box, which is very annoying because what's the point of having a subscription box? But you know, YouTube does what it does. So if you guys hit that little bell, it will notify you every Tuesday and Saturday. Saturday when I upload here on my channel and yeah I think that's all I have to say nothing really crazy is going on I hope that you guys are doing well and if you are leave me a comment down below let me know how your day was I would love to know because my days have been a little rough recently <laughs> but I hope that you guys are doing well and let's go ahead and get right into the video So as you guys can see from the title down below, I have my current favorites here for you guys. I don't have a ton of stuff because I have just been loving a lot of stuff recently. I think I might do like a get ready with me kind of video talking about all of my favorite stuff because there is a few things here, there is a little bit more, but I didn't want to keep you guys here really long because I feel like current favorites are supposed to be things that like you're really, really loving, you know? So I just thought I'd show you guys a few things that I'm loving and then I'll let you go on your merry way. So let's start off with like makeup, beauty kind of stuff. I picked up this palette here from Amazon. This is the Twilight Dusk palette by You Can Be Cosmetics. It just looks like this. It is so gorgeous. It is definitely a dupe for the Huda, 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 Huda or Huda? I'm not sure which one, but it's a dupe for the Huda Beauty palette. And it is so gorgeous. These colors are absolutely so perfect for fall. I can't wait to create a look with this. Guys, my makeup videos here don't do really well on my channel anymore because I do like so much hair and everything like that. But if you guys would like makeup tutorials, definitely let me know down below and I will do them for you guys. Um, it's just, you know, like I said, they don't do really well here on my channel. But I did pick this up because I just needed to be like re-inspired with makeup a little bit because I felt like I kind of fell off the bandwagon for a little bit. But this is absolutely so gorgeous and like you guys can see, like look at these colors. Like these are perfect for the fall and winter time and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It was super inexpensive. Also, I will have it linked down below. It is 18 eyeshadows in here and it was definitely under $20, I want to say under 15 but I'm not 100% sure but I will have it linked down below for you guys another beauty product is these lashes these are the pure pure Lior professional eyelashes I also picked these up from Amazon you can get so many lashes on Amazon for such an amazing price so it just comes in a pack like this as you guys can see I've used a few um it's actually this side I've used a few of these but these are so so nice they're of course faux mink lashes but they just look so natural on the eyes and so gorgeous like I cannot even explain to you how pretty these are on the eye um I went ahead and picked these up I didn't see anybody recommend them but I have seen so many like bloggers on Instagram and everything um, talk about Instagram lash Instagram lashes Amazon lashes and I decided to check them out and you get two oh god two four six eight ten 12 14 pairs of lashes and I think this was probably around like fourteen dollars or so so a dollar a pair like get out of town like I shopping on Amazon is like my favorite thing because you find such good deals let me tell you so I love these lashes. I have worn them a few times. I've gotten lots of compliments on them and they're just super easy to wear and they're not heavy. I hate when lashes like this that are kind of like more extravagant and pretty are heavy but they don't even have that thick of a lash band either because you know I love an invisible band on my lashes but you can't always get what you want but it's it's not thick at all like you don't have to apply eyeliner um, I feel like what are those lashes the Vegas nay lashes I feel like those lashes are so heavy does anybody else feel that way but I love these so so much and I will also have these linked down below for you guys moving on to more like beauty oh wait no one more makeup product this is the essence lash princess false effect false lash effect mascara I love this mascara I have it on today I have been wearing this like layered when I don't wear false lashes and I don't wear false lashes all the time let me tell you um, because that is way too much effort for every day but I've heard so many good things about this essence mascara 
um, specifically. I have the one in the purple tube and the one in the pink tube. And the Essence mascaras are like so good. Like they're under five dollars, and there are so many different types of Essence mascara that you can try out, and that you're bound to find something that you like, honestly. And this one is so good. It lengthens like crazy like my lashes are pretty long in general but like this makes it look like I have like a super like almost like I got my lashes tinted you know how like it makes your lashes just look really thick and beautiful that's how I feel when I wear this mascara like they're just so so pretty and I love this for the bottom lashes as well because it really lengthens them and makes them super duper nice but I'll show you guys the wand. I picked this up from Ulta, so I'm sure you guys can find it at your local Ulta as well. And it just looks like this. The wand, I feel like, doesn't look like anything special, but it just coats your lashes evenly. It doesn't clump up really easily, at, if at all. So, I love this mascara. If you're looking for a new drugstore mascara, I highly, highly suggest this one. I will also try to link this down below for you guys as well. Another kind of beauty product I would guess you could, um classify as is this Pearl Essence Overnight Recovery Serum Rose Oil and Collagen. I picked this up from my fave store, TJ Maxx. This is such a pretty bottle. The bottle is really what grabbed me. And I was honestly looking for a serum because I felt like my moisturizer wasn't giving me enough hydration at night. And I really wanted my skin to be like plump and moisturized in the morning, if that makes sense. So I wanted to add a serum into my um, skincare regimen. So I found this one at, like I said, TJ Max and it says it's a potent concentrate that helps to nourish and deeply hydrate with infusions of rose oil and collagen wake up to a refreshed complexion and it just says to apply a few drops in your palms and smooth cleanse face and neck can be used alone or under moisturizer so I use this under my Derma E vitamin E moisturizer and I find that I wake up and my skin is so plump and so juicy and just like ready for the day like I love not applying makeup now because my skin looks so good I really did go through a little bit of a time where my skin was not looking its greatest and I would have to like conceal all of my pimples and everything like that well I wouldn't have to but I would just want to but I feel like this has really helped my skin just really rejuvenate itself overnight and just like really really recover like the name says so if I can find this online I will definitely link this for you guys but I only paid seven dollars for this and I know that TJ Maxx usually has a lot of the same things at all of their stores so if you guys can find this I highly suggest it as well I also have something for the nails. I recently soaked off my gel nails and those were actually my natural nails. Um, I think in my last video I had them. They were like red, um, like a really nice fall color. Those were my natural nails but they were getting so thin from the gel that I just decided to pop them off and wait until my birthday really to like get like a really nice, maybe like a full set, something like that. So I just got these little clips to soak off your nails. I know that you can use the, um, which I I've used many many times before the aluminum foil and just put the um, acetone soaked um, cotton ball on your nail and then just wrap it in aluminum foil like they do at the salon but sometimes that falls off it leaks and I want to be like doing things while <laughs> I have my nails soaking off because like I'm a millennial like I can't sit still you know <laughs> so um, I went ahead and purchased this from Walmart it was only four dollars it was definitely under five dollars but it's just like the little nail clips so I just put a cotton ball soaked in acetone on my nail and I just took this and it just literally clips onto your nail so that it presses down and really soaks off the polish so you don't have to do any scrubbing. I know sometimes like you have to use like a gel polish remover like one of those metal things. I literally just slid the cotton ball off of my nail and filed off all of the remaining gel polish like nothing crazy. Um, I just used like a hand file not even like one of like the electric ones or anything and they all came off super easy. I still have nails. I know a lot of the times when I would do um, soak off my own gel at home, I would get super lazy and just like kind of like rip my nails, like tear up my nails, honestly. And that is not what I wanted to do. Like I wanted to still be able to get like a manicure or something nice on my nails so that my nails didn't look like too jacked up because I hate not having my nails done, guys. It's like so like not like cute to me. Like ugh, I just hate not having my nails done. So I'm definitely going to get a manicure or something at least. But it, these were amazing. They made it so easy. I just did one hand at a time because, like I said, I like to be doing things while I um, am soaking off my nails or whatever. But 
I think these will be great for your toes as well. I know a lot of people get gel on their toes because it lasts so long. I want to try that out for um, a vacation or something. But I love these so much and you can buy these like, you know, right in the nail section at Walmart is where I picked it up. If I can link them um, from online, I definitely will try. But like I said, Walmart... Um, I, I said in my last video, which was my haul, that it's so hard to link things from Walmart because they just don't like to have this stuff online ever. So, but I love these so much. And if you are an avid like gel nail polish wearer, or like you just like to change your colors up a lot, or if you like to do your nails at home, I definitely highly suggest these. It just makes doing your nails so so easy. I actually am linking things. I want to try and link this sweater. I am obsessed with it. It just oh my gosh, it just looks like this. It's just like a swiped a swiped sweater, a striped sweater. It has a tan a black and a white and I think this is perfect for fall it is like my fall colors like in a sweater honestly it's so so cute and I was waiting so long for my Walmart to carry the sweater because I saw it on so many bloggers on Instagram and everything like that and I was dying for it but my Walmart didn't carry it until I went when was it yesterday yesterday or the day before yesterday and they had it I saw it I didn't even know how much it was guys I literally just got my size and went to check out because I was so excited that they finally had this sweater. It's so comfy. It's a really nice sweater material. It's not super thick, so if you are in a colder climate, I think you will have to wear a cami under it if you really want it to be warm and thick for the winter time, especially here in New York. But it feels so good. It looks so cute. I'm obsessed with it, and I will think I think I'm able to link this down below I think I have the link to this so if I do I recommend this so much it was under $15 and it's so cute I'll have a picture of me in it on my Instagram if you guys don't follow me on Instagram I definitely recommend you do I'm super active over there I literally post almost every day so I'll have my Instagram always linked down below for you guys to check out as well so moving on to hair so I got this new moisturizer. This is the Elastic QP Olive Oil and Mango Butter Anti-Breakage Growth Moisturizer. And this is an intensive treatment, it says. I love this so, so much. I use this on my hair before I put in my braids and I put it all over my hair, on my scalp and everything. And I haven't gotten a perm yet, guys, but I have so much new growth. Do you guys see how much new growth I have? Like that is crazy and I feel like it has a lot to do with this moisturizer guys. I put this on my um, hair right before I braided it up because I wanted it to be super moisturized um, in the protective style and everything like that and guys when I tell you my hair grew like a weed I think it is definitely because of this stuff right here I'm not gonna lie to you and it just smells super good I love the um, Elastic QP olive oil and mango butter leave-in conditioner just the one that comes in like almost like a jar You guys have seen that on my channel all the time But I decided to try this out because I saw it right next to the leave-in conditioner at my beauty supply store And I love growth anything because I want my hair to grow and it's also anti-breakage And I find that when I am stretching between my relaxers my hair does tend to get closer to you know breakage point so I wanted to avoid that in any well any way that I could pretty much but this is so so good you don't need a lot I feel like this is really really potent so I only literally take like maybe a quarter size amount for like four sections of my hair like a quarter size amount for each section and I moisturize and seal with this and I feel like it really has helped my hair grow um, I plan to get a relaxer very very soon I'm trying to wait till a little closer to my birthday <laughs> which is November 10th but I think that I'm going to have so much new growth because of this product right here so I love it and I think I'll be able to link this down below as well so check that out so speaking of hair I have my hair drying brush that I am so obsessed with that I did a review on guys this brush is so so good if you have not checked this out from my review what are you doing sis go check it out I will have it linked up in the cards down below so you guys can go and check it out it is just such a quick and easy way to dry your hair it cuts down wash day like in half for me because this just really blow dries my hair and straightens it if I don't want to straighten my hair I don't have to because of this and it is just so good I can't wait to try it 
when my hair is like freshly permed because I do have a lot of new growth right now so it's not getting my hair like as straight as like it could be because I do have so much new growth and I don't plan the product like I have a ton of new growth girl it's my fault but I can't wait to try this like when I don't have like a ton of new growth on my hair like I know that this is gonna get my hair snatched to the hair gods okay like I am so excited to try it out but it has like the um, low middle and high setting so you can turn it to whatever you want and it just gives you like blowout results at home like it's so good it is a dupe for the Revlon hair dryer brush it's only $28 on Amazon I highly suggest you check it out if you are looking for a blow dryer like this because the Revlon one is like $60 and you don't need to be spending that girl so I love this. I raved about it in that review as well, so I will have this link down below as well as the review. And I have just kind of like some miscellaneous stuff, like not necessarily beauty, but I have this finishing touch razor. I've recently gone back to shaving my face because I have been wearing makeup a little bit more, and I find that when I shave my face, um, and I don't want to make it sound like I'm shaving my face or like shaving cream, but if you guys look up here on YouTube, like girls like dermaplaning their face at home, I know it's like a big controversy I know that like skincare people are like don't do it at home blah 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 but I haven't had any problems with it and I don't do it like all the time by any means but it just gets rid of that like dead skin on your face and all of that excess like peach fuzz that every woman has every woman has peach fuzz on their face <laughs> no matter who you are but it just really really helps and they also clean up my eyebrows with this I haven't got my eyebrows in done in I don't even know how long because I just clean them up with this and it has like three settings it even has a little light so like if you want to get really really close and down and dirty you can definitely do that but I got this I think from Bed Bath & Beyond years ago um I have been using this honestly just to like clean up my brows for a really long time but then I thought like why can't I use this to shave my face instead of buying those reusable ones all the time so I decided to try it out and it worked super well on my face it was really really nice so I just go ahead and just shave in an upwards motion nothing crazy nothing special it just gets rid of all the dead skin and I find that even my skincare products like that serum that I mentioned to you guys just sinks into my skin it just makes my skin look so much better than when I don't like I can tell like if I skip a month I usually do this maybe every like three weeks every every month or so I can tell when I don't do this because my skin just gets a little bit of texture on it and it's just not the best that it can be so if you guys are looking to invest and start to shave your face um, I really suggest getting like a finishing touch razor or something along these along this line I know that they have so many products out on the market like this because this was really big like a few years ago but I really love it too so yeah <laughs> lastly I wanted to show you guys the perfume that I have been wearing this is the Body Ecology Pink Vanilla Wish fragrance mist it smells like sparkling pink peonies warm vanilla and almond peony is my favorite flower like if you get me peonies like you're pretty much like gonna marry me because I love peonies okay <laughs> so this just smells so good it's super sweet but also like a little bit spicy I feel from the vanilla and the almond so it's not one of those scents that gives you a headache at least it doesn't give me a headache and a lot of scents can give me a headache like instantly it just smells really good I've gotten so many compliments when I've worn this and I feel like this lasts a really long time on me as well and it's not a perfume it's just a fragrance mist so to have something last that long on you when it's not even a perfume I think it's awesome they also have the body wash and the body lotion that goes with this I haven't gone ahead and picked that up yet but once I'm done with my current <coughs> body wash and everything I will definitely pick up the scent because I love to layer my scents because that way you smell good all day girl so I love this as well but that is it for this video guys I hope that you enjoyed seeing my current favorites what are some of your favorites that you have been loving recently I would love to know what do I have to check out what is the hot goss let me know <laughs> but I hope that you guys are doing well and you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up before you leave and I will talk to you guys in my next one very soon love you girls Mwah. bye